views expressed on these episodes are not necessarily those of Cape Town TV or the producers of XA Live, but solely of the guests featuring on the show. Viewer discretion is advised. XA Live! Dusted in sea salt, carried our hearts free to crimson horizons. And on that journey, the songs of the waves suit the storms with lullabies. I would have given you the ocean, but we had to sail away. My love lies in the ocean. Just a day, whoa, forever's just a day. No storm was impossible, we kept on sailing, but then the black clouds burst, lust, oh God's crying, and my anchor smashed. The lightning flashed I saw myself in the tide that night Churning so greedily I would have given you the ocean But we had to sail away My love lies in the ocean Forever's just a day Whoa Forever's just a day I wish that I'd listen to the winds of change The moments I drifted a look away Every time when I dock at some port, I hear talk of your name. It makes me smile to know you're okay. And all the words that I wanted to say just drift away. I would have given you the ocean. We had to sail away, my love lies in the ocean, forever's just a day, whoa, forever's just a day, whoa. Candy, gum, R&B, Zonkis Indo, if you like it, we've got it right here on Excel Live. Ladies and gentlemen, TGIF is our hashtag for the day because it's where it's most keep and happening. Channel 263 on your DSTV, you know how we do what we do. It's either we go big or we go home and today it's not any difference. We're going bigger and better. Try for my weekend is in the building. Ooh, Mr. Mnandi is in the building, who he just opened the show, goes by the name of Sibo. He's going to be performing one more time later on right here on the show. You do not want to miss anything. Let's sit down with Mr. Buyo Jaworo, darling. He's also coming up next on the show. He's talking everything pageantry. Awesome, threesome, good flicking, snalo. Buyo Jaworo, darlings. Lama Limun, I'm going to be your host, so don't go too far. We just started. This show, you like it? Thanks. It's about to go down. <laughs> Talking about my weekend, this is what Undando Duma is jamming to. Hey, hey. 
Sefigile, 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 and he has NXL underscore live is where you follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, it's Excel, on Cape Town TV, 021-448-0448 is that number to dial. Like I said earlier on, my name is Lama Limun, she is... And I'm, of course, Nala J, but I'm known as Boot Flake. And this is XA Watch on Cape Town TV. It's going to be absolutely amazing show. Yeah. I'm so excited. Opening, us, opening the show for us in yeah, a no. beautiful, like, you know, elegant way is the one and only. Can you give him a round of applause? Do you know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sibu, the last time we saw you was last year when you came to promote us. Uh, um, your album. Oh, you also charged yeah, Excel in Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah. Excel oh, okay. to hype it up. Yeah. And okay. Excel happened to win. That was like around the corner. Yeah. And hey. you're back right now. I know, it's time to fly. Is it's this insane. Like to you now? It, it is, basically, <laughs> yes. I know my way around now. Yeah. So. <laughs> you are a gay rights activist. Tell us more about that. Uh, well, I, I like to talk about issues like relevant to queer people yeah. um, through my music and through my performance and stuff. Um, I think it's really important that like we start seeing more queer African musicians becoming more visible mm -hmm. and played on the music, uh, played on the music, played on the radio. Um, so, so that's that's how I like to sort of like talk about issues yeah. about gay rights. Yeah. How has that worked out for you so far since the beginning? Uh, what in terms of like yeah. talking about the issues yeah. yes. um it's been interesting like you know um there's been like a whole bunch of different journeys that i've gone on like uh in terms of a songwriter in terms of a person um you know like my ability to write songs has got better my ability to sing has got better i've got more comfortable in front of the camera um and i found that i'm starting to figure out how i like to write songs and mm. connect with people like yeah. i'm working on a song at the moment called precious um, which i'm going to be releasing hopefully in the next couple of weeks that's great um and that speaks about issues within the lgbt community yeah. um yeah. and just issues that people don't really talk about and i'm glad that you're doing that through your music because i mean like music is one of those platforms that people when it hits you absolutely feel no pain let's talk about how when did the music gene kick in into you? When did you start? Oh, when um, I was born. <laughs> using, yeah. yeah. Um, I, my earliest memories of, are being like four years old. Wow, you literally one of those who started yeah. Yeah. just... Yeah. You were crawling and you are like, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I was pretending to play piano before I was crawling. Wow. So, yeah, and um, I went for piano lessons when I was four, but I think I was just too hyperactive. Um, but like, <coughs> Some of my earliest memories are me dancing insanely to Tina Turner. She was my idol. Right. Yeah. Um, my dad actually took me to see her like in 1995 when she when she was in, performing in Durban. What's um, love to do with that? I, know. Hey, Daddy. I wish there were videos of that so that we could play it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> Oceans, you, um, which you just opened with. Mm -hmm. um, what's the story behind that? Um, so that's a, a very personal song. It's about a guy that I was dating a while ago mm. and uh, to cut a long story short I hurt him um, oh you the cop you yeah <laughs> I know I own up to that mm. um, I learned my lesson and it was my way of saying sorry to him um, and subsequently now we're like really really good friends nice. and you, may, um, you mentioned to us earlier on that you've been releasing quite a couple of singles mm. um, can we expect an album soon or are you going to continue giving us these amazing singles that you've been doing um, so what the easiest way for me right now is to release them as singles because yeah. it, like it takes because I'm doing pretty much everything on my own mm. it takes such a long time so like it would take me years to yeah. do an album so I kind of figured let me release them as singles and then I learn yeah. like in a, a much quicker than, than yeah. you know spending all that time working on an album and, yeah. and not doing anything else. But the fact that you you, 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 you talk about personal stuff that you face in your life, you're all about gay rights, means that you write your own songs, I would assume. What is the importance of you as a musician to have full ownership of those songs? Mm, nice question. Um, full ownership, it means that I can talk about the things that I want to talk about. Yeah. Um, it means that, um, you know, it's, it's very personal. So it's, it's kind of like you have this, this idea 
um, and then you put it out. Yeah. Um, and it's yours. It's your baby. So like, it, it's important for me to to own that and to have a, a major role in sort of like making it happen. And so you don't have to pay a ghostwriter. No. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, your name is. It's, I, I think it sounds amazing. But what exactly does this support? I mean, <laughs> Dora, no, it, it, so it should elegant. be followed by darling. Sibor, <laughs> <laughs> darling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a Kenyan word. Yes. Um, a very, very good friend of mine is from Kenya, and um, one of the languages that uh, they speak there is called Toluo or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I was talking to her one day, and I was like, you know, Steph. I really need a stage name. Like I don't have, it. I can't go like you know with my my born name. Um, and so she went home and she thought about it and she spoke to her husband and she got it. Um, and she said like when I heard it, I knew like oh my word, I love it. I don't even know yeah. what it means. It could mean plate for all I care, but <laughs> I love it. And she said that also when she came up with the name, like it just clicked. Mm. Um, so it means lion, but it also it means someone who's got inner strength and courage and chutzpah and stuff like that. Yeah, you yeah. so. spoke about um, the importance of um, having full ownership of your craft. However, the next song that you're going to perform for us, um, it was a collaboration, mm. um, Love Rising. Tell mm. us about the decision of collaborating and what did it come out as? Um, so that, the, it's a uh, Afro House collaboration mm. um, with a, a Cape Town DJ called Lo Saida who is unbelievable. This guy is so so talented mm. and and fast like you know i thought i could move quickly through writing music he just boom 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 he knows exactly what he wants yeah and um he approached he actually messaged me over twitter the one day um and he was like hey i've got this do you want to collaborate so i was like okay cool you know i'm still kind of like trying to figure out like yeah. what sound i want to go for um and we came up with a song and and i love it um, like I still get goosebumps every time I hear it. We cannot um, wait to hear that. Yeah, yeah, so Afro, yeah. So Afro House. Afro yeah. House. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of moving fast and quick, please move fast and quick to the stage. Mike is definitely waiting for yeah. you. Cool. Thank yeah. you. We are waiting for you. We want to dance with some Yeah, dance. follow us on Twitter, you guys. It's Excel underscore live on Facebook. It's Excel and Cape Town TV. Let me remind you, 021-448-0448 is that number to dial. You're still chilling with Buyo, Jomoro, Darling, Jonas, as well as Lama Limo. Later on the show, we're talking pageantry. We just sit down with Rio Jabot, the <laughs> darling. Sinayo <laughs> Jabot, my weekend, as well as Mr. Landy. But right now, it's time for Sibor to shine. Let's stand up Enjoy. on our feet and just dance. <laughs> The 
sun is shining, come out my child. More we love, the more we see. The truth becomes reality. I feel the people rising, I feel heartbeats rising. I feel dance beats rising, I feel love here tonight, I feel the people rising, I feel heart beats rising, I feel dance beats rising, I feel love here tonight, tonight, tonight. The more we love, the more I feel the people rising, I feel heart beats rising, I feel dance beats rising, I feel love here tonight, I feel the people rising, I feel heart beats rising, I feel dance beats rising, I feel love here tonight. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That beautiful performance. That's how we do it right here on each and every Friday. Give you nothing but the best of local music. But right now, so a quick breather we'll do when we return. It's the so much more. We're doing the sit down with Roots Motor, darling. So don't want to miss this one. Featuring Big Mike and they're performing at Qua Ace. But right now, though, it's time for the sit down with Virtual Order Darlings. And my, oh my, I'm so excited for tonight's segment because we're chatting to beauty queens, chatting all things beauty pageantry. And joining me in studio is Zunkita Walikalela and Usana Nisi Wesi Tole. Ladies, you have we no idea how excited I am. Um, because, I mean, we've been sharing this pageantry journey together yeah. all this time. But please briefly share with us, when did you individually start with this passion for you, passion and love? Starting with you, Flo. Um, I started modeling at the age of six years old. That was my very first pageant. Uh, however, I actually entered with 12 year olds. I was the youngest. Until then, I was very, very passionate about modeling. I didn't stop in primary, I didn't stop in high school, I didn't stop even after high school. I won a few titles then, but it did start at the age of six years old. Yeah. I started my first pageant, I think I was seven, but I was very, very, very shy. So um, I stopped for a while and then um, my mother um, enrolled me for ballet classes, you know, dancing classes to work on my confidence. And then when I was 16, I went back again. And it's been, like I've been doing pageants ever since then, yeah. so yeah. You know, I like it when you say, you know, when you use the word confidence, because I think like pageantry is one of those things that enable young girls and young boys to kind of find the confidence. Yeah. Did that do that for you, Zinkita, as well? Was that a tool for you to be this confident, strong woman that you are? Was it through pageantry? Well, you know, at first when I entered, obviously it was six years old, I didn't have much knowledge about yeah. it. So my mom took me to this because obviously I liked attention or I liked entertaining people. But as time went by, I actually got to discover who I am yeah. on stage and it's really something I was passionate about entertaining others. So it has built my confidence um, in a manner that I know how to stand in front of people. I uh, can compete with others, but still being unique and still being Zinkita because yeah. sometimes you can enter a competition and you can find that all the ladies are the same. But it takes boldness, it takes courage, it takes confidence and knowing who you are and your identity to yeah. actually say that this is me being Zinkita. So it has uh, given me that confidence, yeah. uh, not being arrogant, but 
just understanding that this is me being this lady that I am and understanding my identity. And with, with, with that, it goes with um, knowing that when you're entering a pageant, it's not about winning, but you're just there to say, you know what, me being the confident person that I am, win or lose, I still strive on. Yeah, and there's been so much negative you know, attention to, towards the pageantry industry because some would say that it's bringing others down um, while you know, there's a winner and then the others just have to go home uh, and, and just settle for being the so-called losers. What do you guys think about that, that commentary? Um, not really, not really, because, um, you know, um, with pageantry, even if you don't win, mm. like behind the scenes, you actually meet people. Because um, I know with some of the Miss Essay contestants, some of them um, make it to the top five, but they end up, they end up working for um, their sponsors like Salsi, yeah. um, you know, so uh, you actually benefit um, quite a lot, and there's a lot of opportunities that are there, even if you don't win, so... Um, I don't, I don't think it's... Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had any negative um, occurrences that have come across? <laughs> well, yes, a lot. <coughs> yeah. Sometimes you find that there's ladies that enter. However, it's the parents that are actually giving them that ah, pressure. Yeah. But I will just agree to disagree with Usan Elisewe a bit. Um, I got saved at... Uh, the year 2015 mm -hmm. and with my journey with God I discovered that um, God really says that we fearfully and wonderfully made so it depends what pageant are you entering pageants have no issue but are you entering for the sake that you want to be there and say I'm better than the others but are you there to to make network with the other ladies are you there to grow as a person are you there to take judgment positively to move on to something better so yes people will always talk but it's up to you as an individual saying that I'm I'm actually strong for this pageant to say you know what I'm there to learn is there anything that I can learn from others as well so yes you do enter those pageants where you find ladies that you know what I'm all about winning but it's it's all about you as an individual saying that I'm entering this competition understanding who I am and even if I do go home without the crown I'm still a winner in my yeah. own eyes. Yeah, and both you ladies are part of an amazing initiatives um, that you're giving yes. back to other young young girls in the communities and helping them become these pageant queens that you are. <laughs> Share with us what are what, what are your different organizations that you're part of? Um, so I haven't been doing pageants for about I think five years now, but um, this year I'm going back. Um, so recently I've been approached by the Miss Teenager SA organization. I was approached by the director at the beginning of the year yeah. and she asked me to be one of the mentors for the Western Cape ladies and it's, it's been, um, the, f the finals have already passed now. We've already chosen our winner, mm -hmm. our national winner that's going to represent us internationally. Um, it's been been quite it's been great fulfilling I, I you guess know, as yeah. well giving back and, and also being in that position where where you mentor yeah girls. yeah uh, mine is dream fighter dream fighter sa and i'm the founder for it i started it um in 2015 after i won miss teen cape town 2014 and um, my aim for that uh, pageant was to just take out young black girls from townships and show them that you can be anything that you want to. So Dream Fighter helped them to, to discover who they are, um, to be on stage and give them that confidence. However, I also took a break <laughs> um, on modeling for certain reasons. I grew up in the Lord. There were certain things that I had to learn mm -hmm. about myself because there are times that we do so much for others, but we tend to forget yeah. for us. So uh, there were certain things that God had to work in me before I can go back to those young girls and be an example to them because we are often too good on, on face to face yeah. and, and outside there but really in the inside we are dying and there's no one looking out after you because after gym fighter competition or after gym fighter event nobody's there to say are oh, you still okay um, yeah. is things still going well yeah. everyone is at home and you're all alone so dream fighter SA now has come with a whole new structure it used to be about pageant for boys and girls but however we're launching it back next year in August. Totally something new and totally something that people will, it's just going to be amazing. I'm yeah. inviting everybody for it, but it's more of um, helping young black girls now discover who their identity is yes. before they go, they even go dis, um, 
describe themselves to to the universe but yeah. knowing who you are when you get on stage oh man i hope you'll come back on the show to chat more <laughs> about dream fighter when it launches soon thank you so much ladies continue just being you know such great examples to the young girls young girls are looking up to you and i think it's such an honor having you on the show so thank, thank you so much you. for coming thank oh you. man was that beautiful <laughs> was that inspiring i am so honored to be sitting with these two beautiful ladies but right now though it's time for us to go to a quick look to check out about the umel what does she have in store for us for tonight's show let's go today's episode on a walk with mal we paid a visit to court order we got to hang out with Kareem all the way from Atlanta. Away? Away? My bro. My, my bro. My bro. So it's away, my bro? Away, my bro. I was in the basement of my house sure. when this idea hit me. And I was just like, man, it's we, period. We are the ones we're waiting for. It's not all anybody else. It's nobody else's responsibility to give me freedom. Well, it's a lot of craziness right here in school. It's a Friday, it's TGI, thank goodness it's a Friday. Remember to hashtag us on all social media platforms, on Twitter, at Excel School Live, and Facebook at Excel on Cape Town TV. As long as the number to dial is 21 Should you wish to be here on the show as a guest? Yeah, you can email us to Excel at capetowntv.org. And if you want to find out what we have in store, like, oh, a walk of smell is yeah. coming through tonight. There's lots more coming through for you. It's www.capetowntv.org. Sitting next to us right now is the singer, songwriter, pianist, vocalist, Yongi Indo. Like, ah, he's got it all. She's got it all. But I'm here to Umnandi, I'm Mohamba, no DJ Foster, who he's collaborating with. I'm the sensor in Goma, as Umnandi. The first question that was now, I mean, was really when we were backstage, but you don't even know the girl. You don't know. You don't even know. You don't know. So you do everything in Nandi. Everything I'm defeated. Um, take us back to e musical Jenny Yako because um the performance is not your very first. Um Gave you any other Ndiaz? Ndiaz. Ndiaz. And then Mavu Mabai is Ndiaz. But just a little bit, young girl, and just a little bit. Asia, it's a long story because I, I, I'm not even to be in it. So we should not even go. So can't be in a place where we're not going to meet. We're not going to see. So we should exchange numbers. Yeah. So when you phone me, like you go, what am I Ndiaz? In my time. Okay. Well, if you say Kumula, you can't even do it. Um, be one day, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. About it, and I use all of what in the way. What is in these days in my time? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the lights are telling you. Put in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's got an incredible voice, guys. Yeah. We've got ourselves to stay in the building, yeah. Yeah. and that um influenced the decision. You're going to enter competitions like hip hop stars, the SA called talent, and stuff like that. No, in the um, in the class, I've been saying, been saying, um, then I, I have to go to Johannesburg when I started to 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 to, to attend the auditions like um, SA called talent, yeah, pop stars, um, you can do it. Yeah, so like, you know, so that's why. Yeah, I was on our way to the DJ Foster app. Let's talk about your collaboration, guys. How did you guys find each other, or who find whom? I'm I'm Okay, okay, yeah, Foster, no, Mr. Man, you know. Still, finding the list to be Okay, okay, okay. Um, Mr. Man in Mazay Trong, yeah. Ben Mazay and Bam, Bauk, Mr. Man, yeah. But Ben Mazum don't just so Satiban again. I'm Muslim now, like, say underground, like deep underground. Yeah, so I'm the sick pitches, I'm then we have potential room. So we all go here with seven hours. And you guys have been in partnership since then. Let's yeah. talk about the importance of collaboration because he's everything. He's like a musician, he's a singer, he's a vocalist, and you're a music producer as well as a DJ. Yeah. What is the importance of upcoming artists collaborating together and putting the music industry forward? Like, yeah, well, I'll be Cape Town, yeah. I'll be Cape Town, like, you know, I'm not Yeah. So, like, it's seven a song, yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then Tibi is like, he too. Speaking of that EP, we're all excited, especially Kanjik. Ndize, Ndize. 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 microphone. Kopine, Ndize. 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 What is in these? Eh? On these? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, That's the guy up oh, That's the raw talent. So, um, oh, DJ Foster's oh. upcoming um, EP that you're oh. working together, collaborating. So, what can people look forward to? Oh. I'm going to buy Lindale because I'm the seventh and seventh and the preacher starts as a as a as a like a or two star um or church um because I'm under a beat of the productions which is up on the seventh and no pizza way to uh Mr. Taylor six room chaser Sheshamo Anande two um 80k yeah but it's my needs man so the EP the EP is a is about hot is about hot and we go me commercial is deep house okay yeah so see yeah what mix but it's a band about up and coming and they want to be artists and they want to be signed and when I saw Sunny Lebi BW yeah I'm yeah I'm saying you know Zindone Hotel was Capella before you put your signature on the dotted line what should the people learn before they sign okay Firstly, call to your money in Beko Patuanga. Yeah, then they business. A Pushwanga, you know, Pasconi, Melubesconi, Benembeco, Taninobucha, wants to do an NH. Yeah, so the Sanchez in the Zinja look at Pitabu, Pitabu in Beko, Aban Baconaba Screen, but Tanobucha, so NH is like a call. Please don't put an empty in us. And so uh, what's putting an MT? Uh, putting an MT. Uh, what, what, what is that? Masiege, you are going to perform a song right now. Emma Kaya, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about the inspiration behind that song. Uh, Emma Kaya, Emma Kaya, like um, the Ekaya man, the Ebe, we come now, the man. Mama, 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 Ebe, Ebe, Pangel, but Pinga Pangel, ne? Yeah. Tete ma Pinga, Pinga Pangel, but since we born, sometimes we are few five run, few two run, ne? So now come again, the man Ekaya, ne? Yeah. Inu zami bilen ngono. Sure. Ebo yeah, ina wenye zira right. Yeah. So, so do, you feel, do you feel that um, the mission yako is accomplished right now? So I'm. So ngo go piwa i five run, two run. Yeah, if I tell you black text. Yes. yes. Okay. We are about to go to the house. We are to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. We to go to the We are going to go to the house. We are going to go to Mm -hmm. Um, we are fish hook, but the belly is man, because it's You are fully booked, yeah. you are fully, fully booked. booked. Yeah, the yeah. weekend. Yeah, Usnalo is not going to be able to go there because we are with Fashion Week. I'm going to be watching TV at home, but next time, that's going to be banana away. Social media handles so that we can stalk you. Okay, Mr. Mandy, I'm from Facebook by searching on Oman Dilake September. Then we are causing for one Instagram by um, Oman Dilake 513. So I the number I'm WhatsApp. It's 061 7911 560. It's 061 7911 560. DJ Foster, when we catch you, we don't want your WhatsApp number. Okay, I'm now with Foster Art on Facebook, then go Instagram, go Foster Art. Then in my Yamka, what's up and so was it? Yeah, please ah, don't. Are you able to collaborate with other artists in Apanja Gumnandi? Because I've got a beautiful voice. The only artist in the end of the collaborator now is in there, but it's like in Jay Bacones and Yunus Balera. When are any individual um, um, projects you're currently working at that we can expect from you besides the same as Mr. Nand? Okay, as Connie Sons and Zos drop and I'm. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Next week, next week. Yo, next week is gonna be lit. He's <laughs> dropping singles, he's dropping an EP soon. soon. He has to perform. Guys, this is excellent. We bring you nothing but the best of the best. Because you we are, are the biggest. You always, the throw, you always throw that shade. Can you please do it now? We are the biggest, the baddest, and the most hip and happening show in the motherland because we're hectic nine million times than any other That's show true. in the land. I right love now, those lines. It's Nandi's time because don't get into it. TGIF. The bar in the house. Yes. Yeah. Production in the house. Yes. All right. Okay. Sure. Yes. Hey. So you there? Yo. Okay.
Can you solve it? Alright. If I can't hear you, yeah. Speak your mind. So, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, sure. Hold on. So.
Mangendo Big Mikey Sashu is Kupu Komanzi Panzi Foot Komanzi Panzi Chalu Chai Chalu Chai Kuchai Buma Weekend Over my weekend, guys, they done did the, the things. things they, they made brought, the. I, I feel like they brought a festive in winter. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I feel like it's in yeah. summer right now. They made the pots to be done. Yeah. And how do you say we're gonna introduce DJ Mike? DJ. Please, ladies, ladies and gents, please help you help us welcome, welcome on the stage DJ, DJ Big, Mike, Big Mike, alongside with Jive My Weekend. <laughs> when you guys are people, get the summer yes. soon. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys, it goes without saying that everybody's having a blast. Um, I told the crew that um, we will have my weekend and the rest of the crew um, that will be on, on, on the show on Friday and everybody was beside themselves with excitement. So tell me, um, like they cannot wait to have you on their show or on their stages close yeah. to their homes. How does that make you feel? Excited, you know. Yes, I like Guys, when did you when did this collaboration come about? Basically, um, no time. It's like this is Yeah. See, see, see together. By the way, um, Stephen A. Strand, you know, is DJ. I go to the red the guy. Hmm. I'm tired out from there. So I'm going to do it like I sing. And then from there, like, but change the sound of the guy. From change the sound of the guy is like, but Stephen A. Strand, sing the guy. Yeah. Then Jebo man is Stephen A. Guy. Like every time, it's not Amy one. We go and rub his hand. Gone by, you know what? Let's make it kill like it. It's a it's a manual of all nations, of all languages. So, yeah. it's about you to tell us why attraction, attraction, and interest and love of Umdul and Abad. Okay, what are you guys currently working on? Since this individually, you are big artists and you come together as a duo to make something, what can we expect from you guys? Because if you're not a jive, yeah, who will you be working with on the album? Because I know you've got vocalists as well that yeah. you can't be working with. Who will, will you guys be featuring on the album? Um, snazzy vocalist. Yeah. By the way, for now it's a secret. Oh, okay. Ah, guys, I need to look at an exclusive. I love how I accept. Snazzy now, 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 Basically, we hit the like, I mean, it is. The radio is not doing it, but it's not doing it. 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 Let's make the people happy. Yeah. yeah. Because Tina Sagwaz is in a studio today and then go home to Sosa Lingoma. Just to see about the Bonoaba. Yeah. So now, when we saw about the more, 
Like I'm on my head, yeah. Like everywhere we play, like see Lali. At first it was like no Lala Jirango my head. But seeing that Abandu always request, yeah. just figuring that way. You man can't Lala my head. It became like we can do something about it. I'm a long way pet home Mongo. Why you Mongo, guys? Yeah, I wanted to know. Why you Mongo? Why? Yeah, was Mongo. I asked was the most about the other time. Yeah, why you Mongo? Why you don't go? No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. As I did to Glen, I'm talking about Java, but we can't. We may skip our spot with Black Africa, which is a local brand that's a strand. I think that's absolutely beautiful. That is supporting local designers. What can we expect from individually, from with the big mic, not Java, but we can. What can we expect from the two brands going in the future? For now, we're actually going to be as a duo. Mm. We are going to be making EE e brand label here too. Okay. Oh, We're going to be releasing soon um, EE e tops that people can wear. Yeah. Um, that's going to symbolize our, our hit yeah. record Nongo and also the brand of yeah. our production, which is the JM production. Yeah, on my weekend, I understand that you guys are currently on Ngongo tour. So, where can people um, find you guys? Ngongo tour. Ngongo tour. Yeah, it sounds. Ngongo, there's an end. Sounds. No. There's an end. Gigs. Mm. Okay, like one walk like I'm charging the residents, I'm in Tata Lounge, yes. and then go on source net talk in the young one source of color events, and for me, and speak to the residents, I'm in Tata, and from Tata, see, I'm on a severe on the lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, there's so many DJs out there who are trying to make it in the industry. Yeah. They are trying to hustle for gigs. How do you guys go about planning, getting those gigs, making sure you're at the right getting place, at the right Yeah, getting work. that check. How do you go about doing that? Basically, number one, it's good to have a manager. And also, number two, it's good to play or do whatever you're doing at this year. Yeah. yeah. Don't go there and say, I want to get so much money from Argentina. Okay. Good for the love. Everything else is going to follow. Oh, everything else is going to yeah. follow. Wow. Just like this episode on Monday morning between 7 and 8, we're going to be bringing you e repeat. Right now, it's time for us to give them an ex exclusive. Yeah. Good DJ Mike Amba. No more weekend. It's going to be so lit. Where can they follow us on Twitter? You can do so on Twitter. We are at XA underscore live on Facebook. We're at XA on Cape Town TV. Or give us a call on 0 to 1448 Definitely, if you'd like to be on the show, send us an email at XA and at XA at Cape Town TV dot org. Other than that, we are, of course, available on YouTube, man, at XA on Cape Town TV. We are back next week, same time, same place, right here on Cape Town TV, the People's Channel. And this is my phone, Mongo. In that time, you follow me. You understand? Um, you guys, you can follow us through YouTube and subscribe as well. It's Excel on Cape Town TV. The number to dial 021-448-0448. It's a Friday. TGIF. T -G -I -F. It's time for us to get on the dance floor and dance to Suzulisa. We love you, South Africa. Good bye. Hola, hola. Oi, oi, boy. So sweet,